Social media was uproar last week regarding a controversial tweet posted by Mustafa Njai, a.k.a. Taf, on Thursday, 11 August 2022. According to the business mogul, he is 65 years old and he works eight hours a day under a hot sun of 35 degrees, so people should take time to think before how hard he works to earn a living before asking him for donation or sponsorship. He posted, and I quote, I'm 65 years old, working eight hours a day under the hot sun of 35 degrees with these hardworking women, training them growth out interlocking pavement blocks at Tough City with fine sand. Just take time to think before how hard I work to earn a living before asking me for donation or sponsorship. He posted, this tweet attracted mixed reaction from social media users, including top Gambian politicians and social media influencers. Reacting to this saga, Momodi Sabali, the Secretary General of the former regime and now a prominent UDPN, said Taf became tough not only because of his vision and hard work, but also because support he receives from many quarters, including much support from the government sources. And I quote, I did not want to get myself involved in the tough drama because I thought he made an error and he, an error is man. But since I see some tough apologists trying to sensitize, justify his offensive statement, let me share some thoughts. Mustafa Njai became tough not only because of his vision and hard work, but also because of the support he receives from many quarters, including much support from government sources. Even a casual observer of what I will call the tough soap opera in New Gambia will notice that Taft did not only open the doors for requests for donation and sponsorship, he actually quoted it in many overt and covert ways. Perhaps he now feels he is not getting the full value of the love he was trying to buy that may be the reason for his flipped. It's a man who is floating dollars on Twitter, soliciting likes and retweets, should not whine for people knocking on his door for genuine requests. Surely no one can accuse me of encouraging Gambian youths to be lazy. I have persistently asked Gambian youths to be self-reliant and hardworking in my many books and thousands of lectures. Yet everyone needs help in one way or the other. Sometimes it's a thought wall. If Uncle Taff really believes in self-reliance and hard work to earn every penny, then and let him pay off the fair market value of all the lands he has acquired over the past decades in this country. He posted on his Facebook page, Baba Ja, popularly known as Serin Chapacholi, said Taf posted that controversial tweet because... Recently, Ngajele Taf ye uh, statement of bondi and him fanang abadia mo len ko uh, modul bi ge lazy tale mulkana yale pro sponsor and so on and so on but e mo jima bal ko al malu munat na tafio fo but e mba fatam fansilal ye nga fale munat na bi tafio statement of bondi ani why i will bondi sign okay uh, now you remember new what o kono amami because nde i was in gambia like a week ago uh, molo complain on nale ko nika kasato bondi e kata tafiyale ni ba lonchi na pour tafiye sponsor taf is not generous mool ka fale ko oke nyin som studeno muniyale ba architecte kan e ko ka safero ke tafiyale taf bu ke sponsor so there are too many rumors going around ko taf is not generous a buka celebrity fanan ma ko ni ba lonchi na and stuff okay so wolon taf kan fandi so wolan tafiye nyin statement o bondi sign mbadin ya gele amanke hard work wol ka tina moy welt na to pour alien na moy jang Amang ka hard work le kati na moye wealthy. Ning hard work le kati na pur moye wealthy. Nde chapacho le binke da billionaire ti. Nde somtay I pull 19 hours. Billah ngan kali alani al Quranol. Somtay I pull 18 hours a day. Nde chapacho. Ala fa tapia ko. Ning hard work le kati na moye ke millionaire ti. Aina siyato ja. Gambian mo munu ba siyato ja. 90 percent of Gambian they have two job. 90 percent of Gambian munu ba siyato ja. Two job. Don't be ye three job. Ala fa tafiye ning hard work leka mo so wealthy la tandu no wonjen den jaa el munuba berga marché to e ka dana fulti on ning hard work leka mo so wealthy la ala fa ntoko wo fama so munuba a wulo ko de batio fe kala bi tandu no bi be ka da wealthy a e be wealthy ta ya jale a na fulon fende mu yal hargelo ali nyine ka nga fali ka to ngadu mandi lo nge na fulo hargelo mu yalo ko ala leka sonien di ite silo la mu yalo ko wondol mate na fulo bo wolenyama 
so ni statement mo ngi statement mo yalla ngo tafle nyanta pour que ñu fa kadum go mol be mo ne fa kan a global property ka mol donate lo all the time you know and uh kiusel also is donating big money ni program mo ta ya soto den den an official fana mo be to fa kan bar tafie mo ne ke tafie ñu few tiktok asle la o tiktok asle wal le tay sampal office da ko ga anna contract ko sign akan advertisement ko dan kaljo 2000 every month 2000 or 3000 every month so ba jela pour que ñu silence because alon ko ngun ngunu ba kere tafe be de smart an fa lon ne so bring a wo samba an wol ya sign so ba a jela mo sa fa aba ministere ma ko kan o aba ninke kan pour ñi mumé wolu po asa jeta jesoro so ñi ngun ngunu wolu bi jeta fi wolu me wana tafana nara a ñi occasion ta a ka fuko mo le ko ha jang bi mo le jitale e ka fu ñi ma ko sponsor e ka fu ñin ni ñin ni ñin ni ñin aba tenne ya jele ñin na fulo be wul kumo do bi ja ko suti ya nemulale bar da ma ñana pour ka fu ñi statement no ma ge statement mo ñala a ñanta ka bo tafle da ko billionaire mo ni ya long wolu bil gete ñol de never say things like this people like uh Elon Musk the owner of Tesla they would not say anything like this ya jale uh tandu no ni hard work like a multi code ni ba ko e male ngol ya jale uh uh gambe jubi how many years are they struggling e man capital le sodo pour que business ok gambe funding ke jamal be with the talent but opportunity le ti wala ni funding ke sacrifice dum dañ ba kon pour que ta pour que better life ni aba wuli nyama there are a lot of gang that has sacrificed both day and night mo bidaka school had to study fee fango billa wolle ni mo le diamo ta mu yalla go lost to the no law but school fee fango mala problem mo let ya je so amange ko fondi gel man trata ka day a so ni mange ko to mu yalla go ko di tie binale ka tan di mo le ko ha mo sfeng kita mo kana yalla nge ma ko e kana ye sponsor kirba because aba wolle fo kam because wolle ka fa ye sponsor and a man trata ka mo ga juma le to fo so freeze long global property those people are given ya je he is very generous you know and and abu bakar jawara he is very generous mo ba to fo kan ni so woto ni wolle to ba fo kan tafto nata number 7 le mo ka mol ma ko ana la company tafto nata number 7 le so tafya wolle lo wala den any occasion da aba wuri wuri na molo jang e camera ni no wax len tafta pa tele mo ne fen ga tojot tojulo fen gis na bouche bi man ca pa tele ma ko ame minister yi man le ñu wur député yi dima wur alcali dima wur president dima wur ay chef yi dima wur inspecteur general man la mo wur ngide ena e man la ñu wur de nga ay sokol tiktok as yo xamni ñu ñu nga yobbu sa office nga sanal len ay di di len do ay 2000 dollars man dama nduru ak nol man bouche bi ma ko ame sa sokol tiktok as yoyu fan len toj ban airport nga mu sa dem ñu tay fa ci sen netal ma laaj la eh ban news be mo 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 sa bind sen affaire rek la len bu len ma yep man ma nek serigne tia patoula am just keeping it real you know so if you feel offended i'm sorry but i'm i'm just keeping it real my name is dr baba ja aka serigne tia patoula i am the voice of the voiceless people are accusing him of not being generous and don't help gambians especially the artists that's what kicked the tweet according to the the comedian the estate mogul made some tiktokers staff ambassador in order to seal that loop even though social media users are dragging mr njai isa gambia a sensational tiktoker and also a tough brand ambassador disagree with a post made by facebook user named kine jeng sala according to former model and a mother of one she does not see anything wrong with that uncle tough said jeng i disagree with you because i don't see anything wrong with what uncle taf said i want you to sit down and relax and reread again what uncle taf said let's be in the positive side respect to you mr njai see posted on her facebook page mustafa njai is a banjul born businessman entrepreneur 45 years plus construction housing and real estate philanthropist and a public speaker reporting for lstv one news i am bajan